I really never broke into houses, but I learned a lot from guys that got a lot of time in prison. There's this one guy, he's doing 256 years. He told me this is how he did it. He driving a van, he put company signs on there, like carpet company, moving company, signs on the, on the van, have them made with, you know, uh, magnets or whatever. They'll even go rent a U-Haul and go scope out the neighborhood. One of his easiest thing was sometimes he saw where people left their house key because somebody else had to come and get in. Somebody didn't have a key. They see a cracked window open, they're going to get into that cracked window. They got ladders. Hey, there's a lot of money in that house. Make sure all your windows are locked at all times. Don't be leaving your garage open and letting people see the inside of it. Like if you're outside doing your yard, don't leave your, your garage door open. I know it's, you, you feel comfortable, you're at your house, you can, you know, yeah, well, I'm, I'm out right here in the yard, but you're giving the opportunity to a thief to see what you got inside your house, to see where your door is at. You're gonna see a company van thinking it's a company van or a U-Haul, and it's not, it's thieves looking at your house. Yeah, this is the one we're gonna hit. One thing you gotta be careful with, you gotta be careful who you're hiring to come to your house, to fix your plumbing, to do your carpet work, to do anything. The guy that you're hiring might have some help that's a thief. He's scoping out the area, making sure there's no alarms. The best thing to do is tell your neighbor, you know what, these guys are gonna come in, they're gonna come and move my furniture, I won't be here today. Neighbors gotta help your neighbors out too sometimes, you know, you gotta put, the community got to put their part too. No matter where you're at, you can get broken into because you're not paying attention to your surroundings when you leave your house. That's all I gotta say.